Hey there, welcome to It's All About the Cocktail. You can call me Ray. Tonight, staying within the theme of easy co cocktails at home, I'm going to show you something that's extremely simple called the Bee's Knees. Now the Bee's Knees originated back in the Prohibition days when people used to make gin in their bathtub. And sometimes it didn't come out all that good. Matter of fact, sometimes it came out downright nasty. So they had to add stuff to it to make it, make it, make it drinkable, like citrus, like lemon. So somebody decided to add honey to that lemon, and thus became the bee's knees. Now the bee's knees, like I said, is nothing more than gin, honey, and lemon. And it uses a nice dry gin, so tonight I'm going to use Bombay Sapphire Dry. Okay, and then at the end I'll show you what I do to make it a little special, how I like it, how I like it, okay? So do me a favor, I would like you to subscribe to this channel, shoot me a comment, but I want you to stick around till the end, because I'll show you what I do to make it special. I'll see you in a bit. Hey there, welcome back to It's All About the Cocktail. So what I have here is a little bit of honey syrup. It's just honey and water, one to one, boiled on the stove. A little bit of Bombay Sapphire dry gin and some lemons, which I've squeezed in some lemon juice. So I'll show you just how easy the bee's knees is. Okay, so first thing you want to do is take your glass and put some ice in there and get it cold. Okay? Take your shaker and put some ice in. Okay. To that we're going to add two ounces of our Bombay Sapphire Dry Gin. Then we're going to add 0.75 parts of both honey and lemon. So the honey, let's do that first. Then let's do that with the lemon juice, which I've already squeezed. Okay, and let's give that a good shake. I like to shake for about 12 seconds. Let's throw a little more ice in there. Give it a shake for about 12 seconds. Get a nice good shake to get that honey and that lemon mixed up. Grab yourself a strainer. First pour out the ice. Give yourself a strainer. Pour it in your glass. Okay, grab yourself one of the lemons, and you want to you try want to, to try to get yourself, get yourself a, nice a nice orange peel. I got a nice peeler here. 
I'm dragging along the topper. Okay. Got myself a lemon here. I'm going to drag this along the top here. Grab yourself a lemon. Give yourself a nice peel. Get the fucking sticker out of the way. Grab yourself a nice lemon. Easy if I do it down here. Give yourself a nice lemon peel. Throw it inside there. I told you I was going to make it a little bit special. So what I like to do, instead of putting an orange or orange peel in there, I like to put a little Grand Marnier in there. I know I can hear my French friend now going, No, 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 Grand Marnier! She hates when I put Grand Marnier and everything, but I think a little bit in here tastes good. Then we're going to check it out. Give it a quick little stir there. Then we're going to check it out. Hmm. I like that. That is very refreshing. I think you should check one of these out. Very simple to make. Like I said, 2 ounces of gin, 0.75 of honey syrup, and 0.75 of lemon juice. That's all there is to it. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the cocktail. I'll catch you just in time for the next round. I'll see you later.